Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising. Weekly tarot reading October 7th to October 13th, 2019. And bear with me just a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we are going to jump right into it. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic, the very theme of your week here, uh, it's going to be the Five of Cups, followed by the next one which represents the uh, challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that will be the Seven of Swords, followed by the next one which stands for the positive aspect of the week for you guys, that will be the Emperor card, and then the last one here, it will be the uh, guidance that Taro is offering, that will be the king of pentacles. So, um, interesting week for you, um, Tauruses or Taurus. Um, it looks like that you are going to pick up your things together and um, in generally uh, produce quite good results when uh, working against the odds. But before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Five of Cups, which stands for the uh, topic of your week, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges you need to overcome here of the Seven of Swords, followed by the next one, uh, that it is the Emperor card, which represents the guidance that Taro is offering. And then the last one here is going to be the King of Pentacles, which represents the guidance that Taro is offering to you. All right, so... Um, the first one, which is the Five of Cups, uh, the topic, it's catalyzed here by the star card. We do have a passive neutrals. So uh, these two cards are, are, are representing a, a different way of how you can approach either your marriage or either your career. That This time around, this give a, a huge hope that at the end of the day, uh, you are to uh, achieve a or produce an, an extremely good result but it will require from you changing up your strategies and also leaving some assets what i mean is that that the uh the current path that you are uh, that you are trying to do things by i kind of like produced certain losses but those losses are just partial losses just temporary losses and if you sober yourself understand what the uh what the core of the situation is okay or kind of like um not understand but acknowledge the, uh, the 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 real reason why the situation is going in a such a way and um, readopt your behavior readopt your performance then it looks like that with the new um, 
with the new strategy you are to proceed forward um, the, the 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 ruins that are following from your previous performance are going to be no longer and uh, these cards are just confirmation as well that you shouldn't deviate from the path that you have chosen what i mean is that from the goal that you have uh, that you want the person you want to be with the career that you are chasing the project that you are performing and etc etc but maybe just maybe you know the way you're trying to do it it is not exactly the most efficient way how you can do it additionally to that you can attract support what i mean it is that you don't have to face it alone here additionally to that there are uh, those who cares for you those who loves you you do have people that have in an unfolding love towards you and therefore they can also help you and support you throughout that endeavor but at the end of the day uh, it's time for you not to focus on what you have uh, what you cannot have at that point throughout the week but you what but but on what you can have in the future should you start working toward it take it like this you need to lift above the clouds and like an eagle for example and survey the scale or day up the scale and uh, basically try to plan your future uh, your future steps and moves because you can do it but it should happen based on your logic and based on your um cold intellectual agility rather than on your a uh, emotional sense if i may say it that way so the next card it is about the uh, challenges that you need to overcome that is going to be the seven of swords and it is catalyzed here by the empress card we do have an active enemies uh, at that particular point and uh, the challenge is a bit rough here uh, first of all, it means that you will have to step outside of the comfort zone that you do have. Additionally to that, there will be a decision that you will, will have to make, which, how can I say it, you wouldn't like to do. I mean, you, you would hope that it's not going to come to that, to those decisions that, uh, that you got to that, that, that make, all right? Oh, my God. All right, so... What I was trying to say here, it is that it will be rough for you to stand for your rights. And uh, if you want to say demand for what you have been owed and uh, also uh, storm your situation. I mean, the whole thing that it means that it will require a bit more aggression from you and aggression, not like uh, raging and, 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 and kind of like uh, bursting into rampage and all these kind of stuff but more like a being more uh, accountable towards yourself in the sense of like when you you think that you do uh, deserve something you demand for it because if you don't it is unlikely that people are going to give you additionally to that it's going to be difficult for you to um stay calm and that's why it's highly advisable that when you feel that, that hectic wavering within you, should you face a certain situation throughout the week, just withdraw yourself for a moment, for a day or two, you know, so you can calm yourself down and whatever decision you have to make in regards to that situation can be defined as a, a balanced decision taking. Because this is the, the another thing from those challenges, whatever produce, whatever you produce from your decisions is you, you will have to deal with it either bitter or sweet. And uh, the next one is going to be in regards to the positive aspect. We do have the Emperor here and it is catalyzed by the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> the formation, it is a uh, active neutrals. And uh, these cards are testament for a reversal, reversal of certain situations or rather like should you put your things together and sort them out. That is very important. You also need to sort them out, systemize them, construct them in a string in a way that you can control them. Uh, <clears throat> 
is going to make the situation much more reliable than before. Additionally to that, it's going to make you much more capable than before. It's, gonna, uh, it's going to allow you to face the dailies ups and downs with much more ease and it's going to give you so much more free time for yourself that you can take for, for resting. You know, I mean, those kind of like hits that are coming from every direction, they will have to suffer lulls. And throughout those lulls, you get to kind of like put yourself together, you get to recuperate and then with newfound forces, you can attend to the problems that everyday routines present. But with the six of uh, pentacles here to the emperor, should you structure <clears throat> your uh, priorities and kind of keep them under control? It does look like that you can really avoid a current. What I mean is that situations which are striving toward failure, you can avoid that failure throughout the week. But once again, discipline, it's important, right? You need to, uh, how can I place it? You need to become systematic and not scattered. And what makes you scattered? What, what makes you um, scampering around, jumping from one thing to another? The rage, the rampage the uh the, the the hectic wavering as well so it's very important to calm yourself down no matter what you face at the start of the week because most likely it's going to be unpleasant with the five of cups but you need to keep in your mind that there is a your way how you can overcome it there is a your way how you can make your dream comes true even though the current situation may not be as favorable as favorable as you hoped it will be i mean as a matter of fact with the Five of Cups, definitely is going to be either a disappointment or a loss that you will need to suffer. But once again, that is just a temporary one. You don't have, it doesn't have to be that way for the rest of your life. And it won't going to be, but you need to sober yourself as quickly as you can, you know, stand your ground or kind of like pick up your things and move on. And uh, the next one is going to be in regards to guidance here. We do have the King of Pentacles and it is catalyzed by the Nine of Wands. We do have another uh, passive neutral here with these two cards. So um, it's kind of baffling uh, because the King of Pentacles in your case, it does refer to the, uh, to the structure. It does refer to the emperor uh, at the positive aspect where you have to systemize not just on, not your priorities. I didn't express myself there correctly, more like your tasks that you do have. You get to prioritize your task the way you like, but you need to systemize your tasks so you have control over them. And when the, uh, when the King of Pentacles here stands as a guidance, it is that first you need to fully, uh, it's again about the control. I don't know how to explain it, guys, but you need to, uh, how can I place it? Fully secure those tasks as yours before you decide to go for a something new because the king of pentacles always sustain what he has and always maximize what he has before going into uh, into a new endeavors with the nine of wands here uh it's it's more like a uh, that you don't need to reorganize uh, reorganize your tasks or rather like you don't need to change your task you don't need to change your perspective you don't need to change you know your goal you don't need to change how can I say it um, um, your your expectancy only thing you need to change it is the way how you try how you are trying to do it in order to do so like I said when you feel yourself stressed, just withdraw for a second, all right? And at that withdrawal, you get to pick up yourself together, gather your strength, gather your mind, gather your thoughts, and make the well-found decision. That will be exactly the new way you need in order to move on forward toward the dreams of your heart. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, a, uh, October 7 to October 13, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.